So let's talk about what a tender is. Like any of our boat tour videos, we're gonna start at the transom. The fishability of this boat is identical. Plenty of tackle, plenty of storage. This is a hardcore fishing boat. Just like the helm seats, the backrest of this forward seats are also real teak. We just got the batteries turned on for you guys. Check it out. All right. right. Are you yes. ready, Amanda? All right, this is like see the new this thing. up here. See that? Yeah, we can there. see it. The steering wheel being more minimalistic and simple. The railing is the same here. Hey everyone, welcome to our next Gale Force Winds episode. We are at the 2022 Palm Beach Boat Show. Even more specifically, we're at the Invincible booth. Now, first of all, I'm obsessed with this color. Amanda, what's it called? Abu Dhabi? It's Abu Dhabi blue. Beautiful. And that's why we started this boat. We're giving you guys a bit of a tour. I guess I kind of spoiled that one. That's why we're starting this boat tour on land or on, on ground, not in the boat, because we wanted you guys to see this beautiful blue color. All right, we're gonna give you guys a tour of this new tender package for Invincible Boats. My name is Emily, Amanda's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. So what exactly is a tender package, you guys may be asking. So let's talk about what a tender is. A tender is essentially, you guys know when you see the big sport yachts or yachts or mega boats and then they have like a little boat on the side. That little boat is the tender and that's what people, fam people will use to get on to go from their boat, maybe to land, maybe they'll get on and go fishing. And like the big boat is their mothership and the little boat is their tender. So this is the tender package. And I do want to preface this by saying that this boat is just like their other, so this is the 39 mono hull. It's just like their other 39 it's, mono hull. It's the same fishing same features. Same fishing features and everything, but it has a little bit of flair to it. Like any of our boat tour videos, we're going to start at the transom. And like I said, guys, this is the Invincible 39 mono hull with the tender package. So it's the added package. The very first thing you'll notice is color. And we have this beautiful tan color and it looks really nice against teak. We don't have any teak back here, we'll get to that. But let's check out this back, this transom over here. Yes, Amanda. so basically the fishability of this boat is identical the to the 39 mono hull. So we've got this nice live well right here and seats, we Amanda. have also these seats. So the features are the same. It is just as serious of a fishing boat as any other of the Invincible boats. So go ahead, sit down on that comfortable seat. That yes. looks great. See, it's still clearly a 39 right. open fisherman. But you'll notice the color. The color, right. So that's really what we're looking at back here is really the only change you're going to see. Let's also show them some of the fishing features we have in yes. this seat behind the helm. So we have the cooler underneath, which is the same as the 39 mono hole that we actually toured in Bimini. Yes, We correct. took that boat to Bimini. We did a full boat tour. So this is the same boat as that boat. And it's going to have the same features. Plenty of tackle, plenty of storage. This is a hardcore fishing boat. We are not getting away from fishing at all with this tender package. Remember when I said that tan color goes beautiful with teak? So here's the teak. We have the teak on the seats, the armrests and the back here. This is real teak. And part of the tender package is these seats are electric. So there's a little tab right here. You see that tab, Amanda? Yep, coming in. We can see the tab. And if I push this tab forwards or backwards, the batteries are off. So it's not going to happen right now but the seats will actually move forwards and backwards. So if you want to sit closer to the helm or further from the helm, you can adjust that. We just got the batteries turned on for you guys. Check it out. All right. right. Forwards, forwards, backwards. There we go. Backwards. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, so seats are moving forwards and backwards. Yes. And this is where you're going to see the biggest differences in the tender packages. We've got the teak armrest, the teak backrest to the seating Check at out the helm. to the helm pad. And the helm pad is that nice same color. So the teak package is very mostly aesthetically yes, different. Yes, it's definitely more of a visual thing. And if you like the it, wheel on this one, way. we have the a wheel. little bit of a different wheel. So we should have, how about we show a pop-up of what the other wheel looks like, but this is with the tender package. It's more of like a cleaner, it's a sleeker, classic, sleeker. I would say more old fashioned looking wheel. Yes, 100%, like, more, more of an old fashioned design yes. if you ask me. Something new that I'm gonna show you on this boat, but you don't have to have the tender package to have it, 
is the phone chargers. Are you yes. ready, Amanda? All right, this is like see the new this thing. up here? You see that? Yeah, we can there. see it. My phone is charging. The phone is charging. So that you can get on any of the Invincible yes, boats. you can add that to any of their boats. We are now looking into inside of the console and look at the colors. So you have a nice deep console on this boat because this is the mono hole. If this were the cat, you would have a little bit of a shallower console. Right. So you have that really deep console. Because this is the deepest part of the boat. This yes. is where the V hole is. And we and are keeping the tender look, the, the All the way down colors. inside the bathroom. <laughs> yes, inside the bathroom, we're keeping that tender package look. Moving towards the bow, you guys are going to start to see some faux teak. And faux teak is fake teak, but it's basically done with paint. And it's still absolutely stunning and beautiful. Amanda? Yes. So this here is the faux teak you're looking at. And fun fact, this piece here that basically looks like wood, looks like teak on the whole bow, it is actually part of the mold. It so is, yes, it is part of the mold, part of the boat. The boat. It's and not then added a after the painter fact. comes in and paints this faux teak. I think you can see that detail in the faux teak we're looking at right here. And then we're also keeping the same colors. We've got just like a, a whole teak color theme. So just like the steering wheel being more minimalistic and simple, the railing is the same here. But look at the railing and look at how sleek it is. Yes, and let me get a close up of the biggest difference from this rail and the other rails. Right now, you are looking at the rail, a close up shot of the rail on the tender package. And I'm gonna have a photo pop up for you of the rail on the other boats, just so you can kind of get a side by side and kind of get a feel for like what's really making the tender package a tender package. Once again, just like the helm seats, the seats, the backrest of this forward seats are also real teak. So you guys can check it out. We have the real teak here. So we have real teak on the backrest on the forward seating and all of the invisible boats have the option to add yes, forward, forward seating. seating. But on the tender package specifically, because it is a tender package, this forward seating is definitely there. It is yes. usually being used to lounge, to sit, maybe to travel from. Typically, right, because tenders would be for someone who's getting off their mothership and they're getting on a boat and they're transporting people. Maybe their families, groups of friends, whatever it is, so that you need seats for people. But you could totally get but this whole package and make again, it a hardcore fishing boat as well. Yes. Like we talked about fishability, we have a huge fish box. Right, so we're not forgetting about our fish boxes. This is some forward storage that could double as a fish box, whatever you want it to be. So this still is a 100% fishable boat. I believe we even have rod holders all the way up the bow. So, I mean, when you think of a tender package, normally you probably wouldn't imagine seeing rod holders, but this one's got it. We've got a rod holder, cup holder, rod holder, what's that, another rod holder, all the way around. So we have plenty of rod holders as well if you wanted to make this your hardcore fishing boat, which you can. Opening that up. So if you guys remember our Bimini trip, the 39 mono hole has an amazing, ginormous, coffin box. All right, so fun fact about this box, guys. Yes, let's hear it. So in Bimini, everything is more expensive in the Bahamas. So what we did was we loaded this entire thing with ice so that we wouldn't have to buy ice when we were there. It lasts, we were there for five days. It lasted four of the five days. And when I, and I, I mean, on day five, there was still ice. We just needed a little bit more to top and off. And it was like 90 degrees. Yes, we and were there, this was the heat in like summer. August. It was not windy. It was 90 degrees, August, insanely hot. And our ice lasted us days. So you could use this coffin box for fish. You could use it for drinks. Let's look at the sandwich tray, Amanda. I, mean, I don't know if this is formally called a sandwich tray. I, I don't but either. But it's a great spot to put ice on the bottom and things that you don't want to get soggy on the top. But keep cold. But keep cold. So Sandwiches. If this were my boat, that would be my sandwich tray. For sure. <laughs> And check out even more fishability because we are on an Invincible, guys, and Invincible is, for when you're serious, we have gap holders. So we have our rod holders and we have specifically designed gap holders or for nets if you have like landing nets you want to put in the gunnel. This is a great spot for that. If you guys want a super detailed boat tour of the 39 mono hull, I'll link that for you guys because we've done that with a sea trial when we were in Bimini. But let's hop on. They have a 36 mono hull just so you guys can visualize and see the differences between the tender package and the non-tender package. All right guys, we're on the 36 mono hull and what you're gonna see as far as colors and what it looks like, you can be like, I didn't like any of that teak and I want it to look like this. You can do that too. 
So if you look at the seat behind the transom, we've got like a white and gray color, which it's a little smaller because it's a 36, but you could do this color scheme right, but it's still on the 39. You've still got the cooler, go ahead everything. and open up the tackle station. Yes. So it's pretty much the same features, but the we're big really, differences. the aesthetics is the big differences yes. on the tender package and the teak. So this here is actually a shot of basically the more modern steering wheels. You got so the knob. you've got the, exactly the knob, just a little bit of a different look. And as we come forward, you guys can see there's no faux teak up here and the railing is, it's not as sleek and streamlined as the tender package was. And walking to the bow, you can see there's no forward seating here, which is what the 39 Open Fisherman traditionally has, just like the boat we ran in Bimini. It doesn't mean you can't add forward seating yes. to one of these boats that doesn't have the tender package, but the tender package was originally designed to have forward seating. enjoyed watching the Invincible Tender Package. It was our first time seeing it in person when we saw it on social media for the first time. We're like, that is really cool. So that's the Tender Package. And then you got a little side-by-side -side of the more traditional look. We hope you guys enjoyed. We want you to get out there, have fun, and stay safe. You don't want to have the gaffs sticking out the rod holders. You can put them uh, in the gunnel. Sorry, let me redo that. You could take this color and this visual, hmm, like I'm trying to say, like you don't have to have the tender pad, okay? And I mean, the helm pad's got that. I know, whew, felt like almost fell backwards. We hope you guys enjoyed checking out Invincible's new tender package. And that's why we wanted to end this. Hmm, all right, never mind. Hope you guys, all right. We hope you guys saw the differences. Mm, I don't know what to say.